Hello everyone! I am Mamsi at narito na na naman tayo muli para ipagpatuloy ang pagtalakay sa Math 4, Quarter 2, Week 4, Part 2 na may pamagat na Finding the Lowest Term of a Fraction. Tara at simulan na natin! Let's look back. Greatest common factor or GCF, it is the largest or greatest number that is a factor of two numbers. And there are different ways to find the GCF. So we have listing method, prime factorization method, and continuous division method. Hmm. Let's think about this. How will you find the lowest term of a fraction? So, example number one is we have two-fourths. Para makuha natin ang lowest term nito, sundin lamang po ang steps na to. So, step one is find the prime factors of the numerator and the denominator. So, sa paghahanap ng prime factors, pwede na tayong gumamit ng listing method, prime factorization, or continuous division. So, sa case na ito, try natin ang listing method. So, ano ang mga prime factors ng 2? Dalawa lang, so 1 at 2. Ang 4, 1 times 4 at 2 times 2. Since dalawang 2 lang siya, considered as 1 lang siya. Next, step 2, hahanapin na natin ang GCF sa numbers. Kunin natin yung parehas na number na meron. Sa 1 at 2, alin ang GCF or alin ang mas malaki? 1 or 2? Tama, 2. Therefore, ang kanyang GCF ay 2. Step 3 ay divide. So, i-divide po natin ang GCF sa numerator at denominator. So, isulat mo siya, divide. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then, copy ka ng fraction bar. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Ang lowest term ng 2 fourth ay 1 half. Example number 2 is we have 4 tenths. So, ganun lamang po ang gagawin. Una is find the prime factors of the numerator and denominator. So, so sample number 1 ay gumamit tayo ng listing method. Sa sample number 2, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang prime factorization method. So, kunin natin yung 4 at 10. Anong prime factorization ng 4? We have 2 times 2. Sa 10, we have 2 times 5. Then, step 2, kukunin natin ang GCF. Since GCF siya, kukunin mo lang yung may partner sa parehas na number. So, since 2, ang GCF natin ay 2. Then, step 3, divide. So, i-divide na natin ang GCF. So, we have 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, gawa ka na agad ng fraction bar. 10 Divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, ang lowest term ng 4 tenths ay 2 fifth. Napakadali at napakasimple lamang po, ba? So, sample number 3. We have 12 and 32. So, this time, papakita ko sa inyo yung dalawang method or sample ng pagkuha ng prime factors. 
So, unahin natin ang listing method. So, we have 12 and 32. Ano-ano ang mga factors ng 12? So, we have 1, 12. We have 2 and 6. Then, we have 3 and 4. How about 32? We have 1, 32. 2 and 16. 3 and 16. Oh. Sorry, 4 and 8. Meron pa ba? So, wala na. Yun lang. So, punin natin ang mga pares na number na meron. So, we have 1, 2, 4. Wala na. So, ang common factors... Nang 12 at 32 ay 1, 2 at 4. Alin ang malaki? So, we have 4. Ang GCF ng 12 at 32 ay 4. So, proceed tayo sa step 3. We have 12 divided by 4 is 3. Then, copy yung fraction bar. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So, ito ang lowest term ng 12 and 32 or 12 over 32. Now, papakita ko din ang sample kung ginamit natin ang prime factorization sa paghahanap ng lowest term ng 32. So, we have prime factorization. We have 2 times 2 times 3. Ang 32 ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, GCF 1, 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, since may GCF na tayo, proceed tayo sa division. So, we have 12 divided by 4 is 3. Gawa ng fraction bar. 32 divided by 4 is 8. So, same thing lang. So, ipinakita ko lang kahit anong method ang gawin mo sa paghanap ng prime factors it's either listing method or prime factorization, magbibigay pa rin ito ng same result. So, ganun lamang po ang paghahanap ng lowest term ng fraction. Ngayong natutunan mo na kung paano mag-simplify ng lowest term, remember that a fraction is written in lowest term when its numerator and denominator have no other common factor except 1. And to reduce or simplify a fraction to its lowest term, find first their GCF and then divide both numerator and denominator by the GCF. Ganun lamang po, kadali at kasimple, at sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na ito. Thank you for watching guys! I'm Mamsi and please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. Thank you!